Okay? Now we will discuss about what is the relationship between zeros and coefficients. And remember that <coughs> if alpha, gamma, beta are the zeros, means values of x are alpha and beta, then the quadratic form of two zeros of alpha and beta is x square minus of alpha plus beta times x plus alpha into beta. Right? For example, if I consider <coughs> in polynomial ax square plus bx plus c and whose zeros are alpha and beta means alpha and beta are zeros of this polynomial. Then what is the relation between alpha and beta and a, b as well as that is what we are going to discuss now. Okay, let us consider ax square plus bx plus c and since alpha and beta are zeros of the polynomial then the polynomial is going to be x square minus of alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. So according to the given information that alpha beta are zeros of this ax square plus bx plus c then x square minus of alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is same as ax square plus bx plus c. But when you compare to second degree terms or first degree terms or second degree polynomials or first degree polynomials, here this is ax square and this is 1x square. Means a is equal to 1 here, but we cannot say that as a is equal to 1 or 1. So that is why you better equate this one with 0 and make it as a monic quadratic polynomial. So monic quadratic polynomial means what? The polynomial whose coefficient of leading term, leading term is nothing but the highest power term is to be the leading term and the coefficient is set to the coefficient of highest power term that is coefficient of leading term. So if the value is equal to 1, then it is set to be a monic quadratic polynomial. So in order to make this one as a monic quadratic polynomial, you will have to divide this entire equation by a. Then it would be ax square by a means x square, bx by a is b by a into x, c by a is c by a, which is equal to 0 by a is 0. Now we can equate these two since the coefficient of x square is same. So in order to equate both of them, which is equal to x square plus b by a into x plus c by a, now you can compare like terms. Like terms are nothing but x square term to x square term, x term to x term, constant to constant. So when you compare x terms, so x terms are, here the x term is minus of alpha plus beta into x and here the x term is b by a into x. So x is equal to x and coefficient is equal to coefficient. So that implies alpha plus beta is equal to and minus is also there is equal to b by a if alpha plus beta is equal to b by a then alpha plus beta is when you when it is minus then it will be minus b by a so this is the value of alpha plus beta while you are comparing x terms and when you compare constants so here the constant is alpha into beta and here the constant is c by a means alpha into beta is equal to c by a alpha plus beta is equal to minus beta a. it means alpha plus beta is sum of the zeros which is minus b by a and alpha into beta is equal to c by a it means product of zeros is equal to c by a what is the purpose of finding alpha plus beta and alpha into beta without actually finding the roots of any quadratic polynomial we can easily figure out what is the sum and what is the product remember without actually finding zeros of the polynomial for example one polynomial is given like this x square minus 5 x plus 6 is equal to 0 i would like to find what is sum of zeros and what is product of zeros of this polynomial is it possible to, is it possible for me to find sum and product of zeros without actually finding the zeros? Yes, we can. That is, alpha plus beta is minus b by a, alpha into beta is equal to c by a. And before that, you will have to compare this with the 
standard form of quaternion equation that is ax square plus bx plus c. And then compare values means coefficients of x square x and constant. Here the equation of x square is a, here the equation of x square is 1. So the value of a is equal to 1 and the value of b is equal to minus 5 and the value of c is equal to 6. And alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. This only one value. And substitute there. Which is equal to minus. The value of b is equal to how much minus 5? So minus of minus 5 divided by a is equal to 1, which is equal to 5. So alpha plus beta is equal to 5. And alpha into beta is equal to c by a. And the value of c is 6 divided by a is equal to 1. So 6 by 1 is equal to 6. Like that we can directly find the values of sum of zeros and product of zeros without actually finding zeros in the form of zero. Now still you have a doubt that are our values correct? Are these values of alpha plus beta and alpha into beta matching with the original zeros of this polynomial or not? Let us try to check whether these values of alpha plus beta and alpha beta match with the exact zeros of the problem. Let us take a find zeros of the problem here. x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. When you multiply first and last one, x square plus 6 is plus 6x square and the sum should be minus 5x, so minus 2x and minus 3x. Right? So x square minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 equal to 0. From the first two terms you can take x common, so x minus 2 minus 3 times x minus 2 equal to 0. So totally x minus 2 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore the values of x are 2 comma 3. Means one of the zeros is 2 and the other zeros is equal to 3. Therefore alpha plus beta is equal to 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and alpha into beta is equal to 2 into 3 which is equal to 6. So alpha plus beta is equal to 5, what we got alpha plus beta here, 5 only. And alpha into beta is equal to 6, here alpha into beta is equal to 6. So our answer is correct. Therefore, without actually finding the zeros of the form here, we can easily figure out what is the sum of zeros and what is the product of zeros by finding alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a and alpha into beta is equal to c by a. And you are given some questions in exercise 2.2 saying that find out zeros of the following quadratic polynomials and hence verify the relationship between zeros and equations. How do we answer those problems? So this is exercise 2.2. There are some problems given. So for example, if I take one problem of this, that problem is P of u is equal to 4u square plus 8u. How to find zeros of this polynomial and hence verify the relationship between zeros and equations? In this particular question, P of u is minus 4u square plus 8u and you are finding zeros of the polynomial. In order to find out zeros of the polynomial, let us equate the polynomial with zero. And then, since anyway there are only two terms, so that either we can directly simplify this, otherwise we can take something common. If you take four common as well as one u squared u, you can take one u of common, then it is going to be u plus two is equal to zero. Now four u into u plus two is equal to zero means either first term is equal to 0 or second term is equal to 0. When first term is equal to 0, it is 4u is equal to 0 or u plus 2 is equal to 0. When 4u is equal to 0, 4 is not 0 so that u only 0 and moreover u plus 2 is equal to 0 only when u is equal to minus 2. Therefore, the zeros of the polynomial are 0 and minus 2. So therefore, one of the zeros is 0 and the other zero is minus two. Right? This is the way of finding zeros of the polynomial. And the second part of the problem is, and hence very clear the relation between zeros and equations. Means you will have to check 
the same thing here. Is this match with alpha plus beta original values and the coefficients of various terms of x, a, b, and c are not? For that, you write a given polynomial that is 4u square plus 8u. Since the constant term is missing, it will be 0. And compare this with the standard form ax square plus bx plus c. And you can identify what is the value of a here, what is the value of b, and what is the value of c. Right? So, here the value of a is equal to 4, and b is equal to 8, and c is equal to 0. First thing is sum of zeros, that is alpha plus beta, which is equal to minus b by a. Alpha is 0, plus beta is minus 2, which is equal to minus b by a r band. So, minus, the value of b is equal to 8, divided by a is equal to 4. 0 plus minus 2 is equal to minus 2. 8 minus 8 divided by 4 is equal to minus 2. Is minus 2 equal to minus 2? Yes. Means, sum of zeros is verified. And second thing is, product of zeros. Product of zeros is alpha times beta, which is equal to c by a. That is, alpha is 0, times beta is equal to minus 2, which is equal to c by a, 0 divided by a is equal to 4. So, 0 into anything is equal to 0, 0 by 4 is equal to 0, so 0 is equal to 0. So, product of zeros also verified. So, like this, we can find sum of zeros and product of zeros, and verify the relationship between zeros and coefficients. So, this is the first, uh, one of the problems in the first bit. So, you will have to answer them. Answer the remaining problems also from exercise. What is that exercise? Exercise 2.2. You have two problems in that. So, you will have to answer those two problems. Hope you understand.